Today I'm going to be reading El Defo by C.C. Bell, part one, so let's get started. One, I was a regular little kid. I played with my mom's stuff. I watched TV with my big brother, Ashley, and my big sister, Sarah. Batman! I rode on the back of my father's bicycle. Whee! I found caterpillars with my friend, Emma, and I sang, We all live in a yellow submarine, a yellow submarine. But then everything changed. A yellow submarine. Cece, George, do something, hurry. My parents rushed me to the hospital. Please help us, she is so sick. I am pulled away from my parents and taken to a room. Somebody sticks a needle in my back. The fluid from her spine tells her, tells us she has men, mentigus. Her brain might swell, but she's only four. I wake up. I'm in a different room. A doctor comes. We need to measure your head. And a nurse comes. This won't hurt a bit. And uh oh, but my head hurts really bad. The arm brickings and head measurings are endless. It looks like I'll be here for a while. But after many days of treatment, I am well enough to share a room with another sick kid. Something is Different though, but I what? I can't quite figure it out. Cece, Cece, want some ice cream? Huh? I guess she doesn't want any. For one thing, how come I never get any ice cream? The other kids get it, gets it all the time. Why can't Ashley and Sarah come up to my room to talk to me? They might have germs, and so they can't come up. And how come the TV doesn't make any sense? Everything is so quiet. It's not all bad, though. I get lots of great gifts. The meanest squirrel I ever met. Love, Emma. And I start to feel better. I put on one of the gifts. It's time to get up. But I can't stand up. I can't even walk. I can crawl, though. And after a few days of practice, I regain my balance. I'm feeling so much better. I think I might even be all better. Finally, finally, I get to leave the hospital and go home. Miracle of miracles, my siblings are being nice to me. Ashley had ma has made a hidden and has made and hidden hundreds of paper boats all around the house just for me, and has filled each one with a special surprise, candy. And Sarah sits close to my bed at night until I fall to asleep. I wake up every morning happy and relieved to be home. I stay close to Mama no matter where she is. But suddenly I lose her. Where is she? But I, I call her, but she doesn't answer me. When I finally find her, I know that everything is different. I know she knows it too. I can't hear. Two. It's been two weeks since the hospital. Just because I can't hear good doesn't mean I can't look good. I love my bathing suit. I wear it and nothing else. Every day, everywhere. I look fantastic. But today it looks like I have to get dressed. I don't want to, but I do. We must be going somewhere special. One hour later, we're in the car. I wish I knew where we were going. Please don't be the hospital. Please, please, please. Phew, it's not the hospital. That man sure le looks like, like a doctor to me. The man who isn't a doctor but looks like one shows me a big deal. And then he puts a blindfold on me. Then it gets really strange. The man puts headphones on my ear and motions me to go inside a booth. I don't want to, but I do. An amazing thing happens inside the booth. I hear a beep, a real beep. It's the first sound I ever heard since the hospital. And then I hear something that sounds sort of like talking, but it's all weird. Rayo, ha, wa, hu, e, a, beep. Huh? Oh, maybe you said raise your hand when you hear a beep. I'll try that. Beep. Boop. Boop. Beep. And then we're done. The man shows me and my parents a chart he has filled out, but my parents don't seem too happy after that. Then the man squirts some goop in, into each of, ear, of my ears, and I wait and I wait and wait until the man pulls the firmed up goop out of my ears. And then we're done. Is that a lollipop? What a strange man. Mmm, cherry, my favorite. One week later, again, today the man shows me a little box of cords attached to it. He puts the box in the ugly green pouch, and then he puts the little pouch around, 
uh, on me. He puts those funny-looking ear globs, the one he made last week, back in my ears. Then he pushes a button and adjusts a dial. He de on to just act on the, uh, he set it ill ease at ink ill log a ring s model at one a uh, d s and out there i can hear but what are they saying can you hear me i understand that wow yes but how does it look um Luckily, the man gives me a beautiful pouch for the little box and another lollipop. Gee, I can really hear, but will I look good too? I can hear myself eating this lollipop. When I get home, I put my bathing suit on and I put the little box into the cute bo- pouch. I strap my whole thing, the whole thing on. I put the ear globs in my ears and I look in the mirror. Hmm, not great, not bad either. Those cords, though.